Hey everyone, Craig Williams back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you um, bass production and some sound, uh, some techniques you can use to make your bass sound a lot bigger, fuller, and a bit more beefier. So here we just have a, a track from uh, one of my releases coming up, and you'll be able to hear the bass that I've got in there, which is really beefy. It's just a simple one oscillator that I've made in Massive. And then I'll just I'll show you the techniques that I use to produce the massive sound. So there you have it. So here I've just got set up a simple side chain as you can see there and if we can hide that demo track away and then I've just got a simple synth patch here it sounds like this pretty simple all it is is um, it's actually a pretty in-depth uh, patch but it's just one that's from Massive, I just found it and thought it would work out well. So the way that I process this synth is to split the uh, actual signal into three parts, so it'll be a high part, a medium part and then the lows. So I'll be processing each part individually to bring out the most in each frequency band and then I'll bus everything together and then process each of the three parts together to, to glue them back together. So first thing you want to do is, um, first thing I like to do is just take out some of the, the bass in, in the initial track. Because we're going to be adding so much bass with the low end, it's good to just take it out to start with to stop it getting too muddy. Next what you want to do is send it to three buses. And what you want to do with each of the buses is make them pre-fader. So if you imagine the signal coming down the channel strip like this, it's going to hit these, it's going to send out of these, uh, it's going to send out to these three buses before it hits the fader. If it's post-fader, it will travel down here, out, and then it will go through the sends. So we can have that down to zero, and that is still going to send out of these three buses. Go up to the mixer, name these, send them all back out another bus, which will be just call it the synth bus and then all of these make them and what this does is bring them into the actual session so if I play that now you're going to have the signal running from here into each of these as you can see here, sending out each of those and then from each of those it's going to go into the synth bus. And as you can see it is just tripling the signal so it's obviously peaking. So what we want to do is start processing each of these parts individually. So we've got the highs here. First thing I'd like to do is Start to see where that's what we're going to process there. I like to add, I'm just rushing through this. Uh, obviously, you'd spend a bit more time dialing in each section, so make it sound as good as it can possibly be. And then maybe put a reverb on there. 
pre-delay turn down maybe just to help add a little bit more spread to the top end next we'll go to Set up a little bit. And lastly, we'll go to adding a little bit of a boost there down the lows and then I like to use a camel fat just to add a little bit more to the sound oh. fairly bassy, not too much high harmonics in the sound. So there we go. Next, what you can do is come over to this side, turn all these channels down, which is about 7, D minus 7, and then that's the signal overall. And then all I'm doing here is just doing a quick rough mix so then the sound still sounds as one. Cool, so that's just really roughly got these sounds kind of sounding together. And then next we're going to process all the sounds together on the single bus. So. You can see here we've got the whole frequency spectrum there. Just tighten up the low end. Maybe we go. One plugin that I like to use is the Zerati GDI really brings out. This is just an amp simulator. You could use the one out of Logic or something like that. As you can hear, it's really beefy there. Next, I'm going to use a compressor just to tame the sound a little bit more. Then another compressor for sidechain compression. I've got my setting here, and then I've already set up the side chain there. And that's pretty much about it. So, as you can see, we've gone from this single sound here. Pretty much a, a nothing kind of sound, and this is what we ended up with. You can also split it into the, as many parts as you want if you want the, the lows, like the sub area, the low mids, the mids, the high mids, and the highs. You can do as much as you want, as much processing as you want. So yeah, try it out on a bunch of different bases and a bunch of different synths and see how you go. If you've got any other further questions, feel free uh, to drop us a line. And until next time, see you later.